Although West Marin is home to all kinds of farming, livestock makes up 80% of Marin's agricultural production. Ranchers take advantage of Marin's lush coastal grasslands as a feed source for their livestock. Bill Jensen is a fourth generation sheep and cattle rancher from Tomales. We like to think that this is a good product out here because it's basically all raised on native grasses. It's not fed anything. There's no hormones that go into these animals whatsoever. It's about as raw and basic a product as you can get. It has never changed. It has, we're not doing anything to these animals now. It wasn't done 100 years ago. For ranchers like Bill, keeping their pastures well-managed and productive is a top priority. We're looking at it from a farmer's standpoint. So grass is the crop that we're trying to produce. What you're looking for is the nicest, cleanest field that you can look at. You don't want any thistles out there. You don't want invasive species, invasive weeds that are just not, not good for your animals or not good for your pasture. Bill is what you call a conventional farmer, but traditional is probably a better description. The conventional label often refers to the marketing side of an operation rather than the farming practice. Most of Marin's agricultural production is dairy, beef, and sheep, and is marketed conventionally. It's not rocket science, I'll put it that way. It's, it's pretty basic uh, marketing of a product. It's not like we're going to a farmer's market where we're taking that product, and we're marketing to individuals. We're marketing 1,000, 2,000 lambs at one time into a, into a whole market like that. Consequently, we're probably not harvesting every penny that we could out of, uh, out of our product. If you were able to market it more intensively, you would probably come out with more dollars. Conventional ranchers like Bill are subjected to the ups and downs of national livestock prices. These pressures are nudging more family operations towards the opportunities of alternative markets. But now I understand the niche markets are becoming pretty, pretty trendy and a, and a big part of the landscape, especially here in Moraine County. And uh, that's kind of going, going to be the way of the future, it looks like. And we're, we're starting to hear more and more from the consumers that that's the product that they want. It's just a good way to farm, I think. I've had the good fortune of being able to, you know, still be able to, you know, farm this land. But it's a lifestyle. It's not a fortune. It's just a, you know, the freedom of going out and doing your own work and kind of being a little bit free. I guess that's the bonus of the whole deal. <laughs>